Alright guys, a motherboard that I've been very excited about having a look at the Asus Sabretooth P67 now this is the B3 re revision which means that they have fixed the P67 SATA issue so this is one of the new boards um, so this comes under Asus Tough series motherboards which stands for um, the ultimate force um, there's one other mother motherboard in the series it's a x58 board so the Sabretooth x58 um, so it has a five year warranty which is pretty amazing so I'm just going to give you a look around the box first um, to go through some of the features so as you can see B3 revision um, and I have to move quite quickly because we do have a lot to cover. So, tested server grade reliability. You can pause that and read it if you want to. Um, I'll talk more about the testing that it goes through shortly. Thermal radar. It has 12 embedded temperature sensors, which is a lot of temperature sensors for a motherboard to have. So thermal armor, this is the main striking feature of this board, the cover that's over the motherboard. Um, so exclusive thermal, thermal cover for the entire board to direct cool air to critical parts and dissipate heat faster for better reliability, better stability, sorry. So that's what it's for and as you can see from the diagram the cool air is supposed to come from basically where the CPU cooler is. So for optimal function you should have a CPU cooler that blows the air downwards. Um, and when we have a look at the motherboard I'll show you how that, how that works and where the air can go. I mean you can see it from the diagram but I'll show you physically. So there's the thermal armor there, a little picture of the board. Um, tough components, so heavy um, alloy chokes, solid state capacitors and MOFSETs, military standard components. So complete USB 3 solution, so what they're talking about there is that it has four USB in total, two on the back panel, two on the front panel. Um, EFI BIOS, which I'll be looking at there's going to be three parts to this video, to this uh, review, sorry. So, the part one is just looking at the features and the board and the specifications. Uh, and then there'll be part two, which will be um, testing the motherboard, benchmarking, overclocking, looking at temperatures. Um, and I'm not sure how I'll do it yet, but you know, there'll be a part three as well. And I'll be looking at the, I'll look at the BIOS as well at some stage and um, we'll be pushing this thing to the max so that's just saying about the front panel the USB 3 support Digi VRM, you can pause and read that so 8 plus 2 phase power um, and Asus have this new highly adjustable VRM system there is so many VRM adjustments in the BIOS it's just awesome The how customizable it is when we look at the BIOS I'll show you that, what that's about um, so we've already talked about the tough components, thermal radar, we've already talked about that. Um, that's all the temperature sensors and the thermal armor is the cover. So you can read that, that's a full explanation of the um, thermal armor. So make sure you pause that and read it. So two SATA 2 cables with a 90 degree angle on one end, two SATA 3 with a 90 degree angle on one end as well, Q connectors, one of them is a military brown colour to match the board, crossfire bridge two slot to, to suit the board, I think it does anyway, um, extra screws and I'll show you what they're for in a minute. IO shield, driver's CD with a sticker, download the latest drivers from the website, scrap the disk, 
motherboard manual looks quite extensive I guess there's quite a lot of features to cover so you'd hope it's extensive thermal radar and digi VRM user guide that will be quite quite interesting now have a look at this this is just awesome certificate of reliability have a look at this read through this I won't go through everything you'll just have to pause it and read it thermal shock test salt spray test I just can't believe it vibration test temperature cycling test thermal shock test that is some serious testing so that's the five year warranty notice quick start guide and a bit more of a write up about the thermal armor oh and it also tells you how to remove the um, the cover on the board and put a fan there instead and that's what those screws are for and I'll show you where that that go. There's actually one other thing that you get with the board, um, a sticker, and I've already stuck it over here, so you get that decal as well. Anyway, back to the board itself, so here it is. Pretty awesome looking in my opinion it's not for everybody but I really like it so let's go over all the features and the specifications So starting up here, 8 pin CPU power connector, there's two fan headers there, the CPU fan header and chassis fan 1, 4 fan headers in total, memo K okay button, um, power fan header, the memo K okay button is if you can't boot due to memory incompatibility, press that it'll set safe settings and allow you to boot up to 32 gig of DDR3 overclocks up to 1866 MHz future BIOS updates might increase increase that 24 pin motherboard power um, the, the P67 chipset is underneath that heatsink Uh, and that's where that fan can go on, that's what the extra screws are for. So, yeah, you can actually bolt a fan on there. Um, let's just have a look at the side of config. Oh, that's a front panel, or the front panel USB header. But there's no included adapter. Um, so, I haven't even done any research but I'm pretty sure that the black SATA ports are SATA 2 off the P67 chipset the brown is SATA 3 off the P67 and the white is SATA 3 off a Marvel controller um, if I'm wrong I'll correct myself in some notes um, on the video so I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right though uh, clear CMOS jumper front panel connector for the power reset LEDs and hard drive LED etc chassis fan 2 so that's the fourth fan header that we've looked at um, so there's three USB 2 front panel headers so six USB 2 support on the front panel Th front panel um, 1394 which is firewire and front panel audio so the PCI configuration we've got a um, PCI 1 times slot PCI 16 times 1 times 1 times 16 times and an old PCI slot now those two PCI times 16 slots come directly from the CPU in total there is 16 lanes so if you use one card you get the full 16 lanes to that card 
if you use two cards it'll be split in half so you'll get eight lanes and eight lanes per card um, the rest of the slots I believe come off the P67 chipset so that's socket 1155 for the new Sandy Bridge Core i3, Core i5 and Core i7 CPUs don't try put socket 1156 in there only 1155 fits so reasonable amount of room around the socket for big coolers the um, heat sinks are very low profile they're MOFSET coolers so you won't have any trouble installing massive coolers as I said a down blowing cooler would be the best Noctua has one out now um, very very high performance some of the best performance um, out there and um, yeah you can check that out it's the NH jeez uh, I can't quite remember the model so I won't say it but as you can see there's a gap underneath the thermal armor all around the CPU um, so if you've got a downward blowing fan a downward blowing CPU cooler the air will blow underneath the thermal armor um, and go out across all the components and cool them so that's really how it works and have a look at Vortez reviews he did a review on this board where he tr tested it with the thermal armor and without the thermal armor and he found that the thermal armor um, does benefit the temperatures by a few degrees here and there so it's certainly worth having and it is the first motherboard that they've implemented it on uh, so in the future they might be able to improve that even more um, so instead of just a few degrees they might be you know 10 degrees improvements so combo PS2 port 2 times USB 2 another 2 USB 2 eSATA audio toss link, two USB 2, another two USB 2, so there's eight on the back panel, six on the front panel, so that's 14 in total. Powered eSATA, two USB 3, there's two on the front, two on the back, so four total. Um, gigabit LAN and 7.1 eight channel audio. So I'm pretty sure I've covered everything. I really like having this cover here. Um, once I've got my the board set up on my test bed, I'll show you why I like that so much. It's really going to benefit my setup. So nice big gap under there for all the airflow. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I've covered everything. Thanks for watching, guys.